Hey everybody, Dan from Mon one here, back with another sneak peek episode. Right now I want to talk to you guys about some improvements that we've made into Keyword AI. If you don't know what Keyword AI is, it's a cool technology in Browse that can scan through your photos and automatically recognize what's in them. It basically does all the keyword heavy lifting for you. Now, we've made some cool improvements. The first one is it can recognize a lot more stuff than it did before last year. So in last year, it did a good job of picking up things what we call instances, objects like people and cars and birds and things like that. But if it had sky or trees or water or mountains, it didn't do as good a job at that. That's what we call stuff. We've now made it so that it does a much better job on those kind of items like that, those big, large things, tree, sky, water, things that a lot of landscape photographers won't care about and want to search for. So you'll notice on this photo right here, it's picked up things like dirt and grass and trees and water. Again, adding additional keywords that it didn't have before. The other thing it does is it now adds nested keywords or related keywords to it. So even though it recognizes this as a flamingo, it knows that a flamingo is a bird and a bird is an animal. So it adds those related keywords as well. So rather than just getting flamingo, you get kind of the whole structure of the keywords that are related to it. That could be pretty darn handy. Now we want to make sure that these AI keywords are something that you can take with you if you use other applications. And we've given you a couple different ways to control that. The first one is in the preferences. So if I go to the preferences and I go to the keyword AI tab, there's a new option right here called write keyword AI results to XMP. XMP is a kind of metadata that's common across lots of different applications. If we have this option on, it will write the XMP. It'll take all of these AI keywords and it'll make them normal keywords and it will store them in the XMP sidecar files on raw photos. So that if you go to another application like Bridge or Lightroom, it will pick up these keywords automatically. That way you can see them there as well. The other thing we've changed is we've made it easier to embed metadata into non-raw photos. So typically when you make a metadata change, it's stored within the photo raw database, but it doesn't actually get embedded into the photo until you export out a copy of it. But if you're not gonna export it, those new keywords or those new metadata changes aren't gonna be visible. You'd have to use an option to embed that. Well, there's now a new option in here called automatically embed metadata. Anytime the metadata changes on a photo, it will go out and it will non-destructively put that new metadata into the photo for you. It just kind of does it in the background. So you just turn that on and any changes you make will automatically be written to the photo. And you can also tell if a photo is up to date on its metadata here inside the metadata pane, you'll see status has changed. That means that I've changed the metadata compared to what's on disk. So I'd have to embed it in order to see those keywords in another application. And you can also now search on this field as well. So it's easy to go out and find all of your photos that have changed metadata and manually embed them if you want to as well. All right, there you go. At the end of the day, what this really means is that it's gonna be a lot easier for you to find your photos. Keyword AI is gonna do a great job of finding all the stuff inside of your photo, making it easier to search for them, and it plays nice with other applications. So that if you use other apps with your photos, we can convert those AI keywords to real keywords and make them viewable across all your other applications as well. But you have total control over how it works. All right, there you go. That's just one of the cool new features in PhotoRaw 2024, including improved performance, the brilliant brilliance AI for automatically making your photos look great, and a stunning new user interface. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.